good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Today, we're going to start, like every other day, with a daily reflection on the New Testament. Oh, it is Thursday the 23rd. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not the work, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Salvation is the greatest of all the gifts of God. It is some not something that may be purchased, nor in the strictest sense is it something that may be earned. More correctly, salvation is a gift, something glorious, transcendent, that may only be inherited and bestowed. Elder Bruce R. McConkie asked, What salvation is free? What salvation comes by the grace of of God. With all the emphasis of the rolling thunders of Sinai, we answer, all salvation is free. All comes by the merits and mercy and grace of the Holy Messiah. There is no salvation of any kind, nature, or degree that is not bound to Christ and his atonement. While our works of righteousness are necessary, there are not su they are not sufficient. God has done for us what we could never do for ourselves. That unmerited favor is what the scriptures call grace. <clears throat> All right. So today is 1 Peter chapters 4 and 5. And um, in this, all I really got was him talking about suffering. I know that's not the majority of it, but that's what spoke to me. Um, so in chapter 4, Peter explains why the gospel is preached to the dead. Saints should speak as the oracles of God. The righteous will be tried and tested in all things. And that's what I got from that chapter. And chapter 5, the elders are to feed the flock of God. Humility and godly grace lead to perfection. So the verse, or I chose two verses today. The verses I chose for my personal statement are verses 12 and 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. We have talked about trials and suffering and finding joy in those things. <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurt. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yesterday was one of the worst days I've had in a very, very long time. To start out my back still, like, when did I hurt it? I heard it Monday. Tuesday, I, it was doing a little bit better at work. And then yesterday when I woke up, it was like, so it wasn't great. I was like, okay, you know, just do my job. My back is fine. Then I sit down to have my lunch finally. We were so busy yesterday. I'm like, why aren't you guys at home preparing for Thanksgiving? Why are you here in my store doing this to me? So I get my lunch. It's a pre, like pre-made salad, like a salad kit that you get in those bowls from Walmart. I get about three bites in and there's a giant bug in there. I didn't throw up even though I wanted to. And then as my closer was supposed to come in for her shift, her partner decided to text me and tell me that she's quitting. Fabulous. Wonderful. Who's staying late tonight? And I'm like, okay, I'll stay late so tonight and Morgan, you work Sunday and that'll give us the, the coverage that we need. And then I was like, wait, it's Malia's birthday dinner tonight. I can't stay late. I have to work Sunday. Then I start preparing the week, the schedule for next week without this person who now quit. That's two. That's two. So I'm going to start preparing the week and I text the other kid who works there and I'm like, Hey, can I put you on the schedule anymore? Uh, are you available? And he's like, well, I've got my National Guard Wednesday through Sunday, so I can only do Monday and Tuesday of next week. I'm like, right. So literally, there's only three of us 
who work there now, and he he wants 20 hours minimum. Like, no, 20 hours maximum. That's what he wants. He, he doesn't want to work any more than that. So there's me and there's Morgan to open and close one of the... It's going to be hectic next week. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all the returns. Just me and her. Wednesday through Sunday. Great. Great. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't have to do it. Oh, <laughs> then I'm helping customers with this weight upon my shoulder where I'm going to have to work 45 hours a week and Morgan's going to have to work 40, which is qualifies both of us for overtime, which my owner says we cannot ever do unless it's an absolute necessity. So I'm like, I think this qualifies. Okay. So I'm helping a customer and this one customer is just like I feel like I've got the weight of the world on my shoulders at this moment. And this customer is not helping me. <laughs> she was the straw that broke the camel's back. And when I like, she kept blaming me because her phone wouldn't send an email to me. Her phone, like I tried to send the email several times and then it wouldn't work. And so I tried to text it to myself using my personal number. I'm trying to like who get who at a job or at Walmart gives you their personal number. You know, it's like, I'm trying to help you in any way that I possibly can. Okay. Trying to text it to myself 18 times. It doesn't work. And I'm like, it's not working. I need you to go somewhere else. Go to the library, which is just a flu few blocks away. Log in on their computer, print it out, come back. She's like, you're telling me I have to walk blocks to get this done. You can't do this for me. I'm like, ma'am, I've tried. And then once she left, I was like, Morgan, I need a minute. I, I, as mother said, I had had it up to my eye teeth. I went downstairs and I cried. I broke. I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. I couldn't do it. So then Jacob texts me back. He says, yeah, put me on the schedule a little bit more for the next week. Not next week after this, but the next week. <sighs> okay, fine. Hannah, she works there. Hannah, I need you to work a little bit more. I can't work Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I need those days because I've got Bishop's Storehouse and I work at the temple. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. But can you work in the afternoons on those days? I need those days. She's like, no, no. I can't. I'm like, okay, fine. So then I cry again. <laughs> because if I work 45 hours, when am I going to see the family? When am I going to be home? Like, I'm going to eat, sleep, and go to work. That's what I'm going to do. It's like I work at the gallery all over again, only less time. I don't get a rest. Anyways, I was freaking out. So then I'm like, you know what? I don't have to do this alone. I can call the owner and see if she can spare somebody from a different store. That's what these times are for. I'm in a need. So I text them and I say, hey, listen, so-and-so quit. Jacob can't work more than Monday and Tuesday. Morgan and I, if we're covering all those days, she's over and I'm over. We need somebody to help. They get back to me by the end of the night and say, we can only give you somebody for closing on Saturday. And also, you can have, you can still work all that time, but you won't be over if you schedule in breaks. So let me get this straight. Your solution is, I work the same amount of hours, I just get paid for less. That's your solution. Your solution is that I'm at the store for 45 hours, but I only get paid for 40. That's your solution. Yesterday was a bad day. It was a very bad day. I didn't cry myself to sleep though. I wanted to, but I didn't. So Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Hang on, baby. But count it all joy, that ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And my personal statement is, are you really surprised? Yes, I was surprised. But are you really surprised that you're being tried? We're talking about trials, trying to find joy in trials. Where's my joy? I'm coming, hon. Hang on. So that's my personal statement for today. 
I'm not a fan of this trial. Yes, I was surprised by it. Although I shouldn't have been surprised because she called out of her shift on Sunday. She called out of her shift on Monday. I, why was I surprised? She said she'd be there on, on Wednesday, but no, she wasn't there. She quit. Okay, let's get into the verse by verse. Or is this long enough for today? I don't know. <sighs> where is my joy? It's at being home with my family. That's where it's at. Um, let's read about verses 12 through 16, and then we'll call it good. Though these verses were given to the saints nearly 2,000 years ago, undoubtedly as a warning to prepare for persecutions that came during the reign of the Emperor Nero, they are still relevant in our day, too. After a devastating fire that burned roughly one-third of the imperial city, Nero instituted a wave of persecutions and terror in the city by blaming the fire on Christians and other groups. The Latter-day Saints, collectively and individually, will also be tested to see if they will serve the Lord despite all hazards. Can we, as these verses suggest, actually be happy and rejoice when we are called upon to suffer trials? Can we be grateful for pain, suffering, affliction, and conflict in our lives? Are we not grateful for the ordeals Joseph went through? sold by his brothers into Egypt, falsely accused, unjustly imprisoned, and so forth, to save the Lord's covenant people anciently. Are we not grateful for the torture and pain Jesus went through to atone for our sins? Are we not grateful for the confusion in young Joseph Smith's mind that led, despite intervening persecution, to the restoration of the church and the fullness of the gospel? Are we not grateful for the physical trials of Brigham Young, and thousands of righteous people who persevered in establishing the headquarters of the church in the Rocky Mountains. And then I think that's good enough to end there. What are you thankful for today? Am I thankful for my trial? I don't know. But I know that once I wallow in this a little bit, not a wallow, but you know, I have to pull up my, you know, bootstraps and, and get to it because that's what has to be done. And I'm good at getting done what has to be done. Can I endure it with joy is the thing. Can I be a happy servant of Christ as I am swamped with Amazon returns? As the customers get anxious and antsy with me. Can I count it all joy? That's the trial. All right. I will leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer. It is November the 23rd. And this one is St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me, sh let me sow love. When there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. When there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. When there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, not so much to be understood as to understand, not so much to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we awaken to eternal life. I needed this study, I needed this prayer, and I needed this day. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys stay safe and enjoy it. Bye.